and Nami here again to help you crush unemployment and find your dream career. You can catch us here every Tuesday for 5 minute hacks and every Thursday for getting real where we talk about our experiences, good and bad. So just go ahead and subscribe you beautiful unicorn you. Check out our blog on bizlatia.com and also our podcast on iTunes. So today we're talking about nutrition and fitness. Yay! <laughs> when you're unemployed, you tend to go through a lot of negative emotions. And sadly, even though working out and eating right tend to help in that area, we tend to give our health the lowest priority. We've fallen into that trap and we want to make sure that nobody else makes those mistakes. So let's look at some common excuses and how to bust them. Excuse number one, I don't have time to work out. Yes, you do! So I'm terrible at managing my time, Pavi knows this. <laughs> but I know that if I make my workout time non-negotiable, then that's how I'm gonna get it done. So have a set time on your calendar and don't let anything else get scheduled during that time. No meetings, no nothing. So I teach dance classes and I do that A because I love to dance and B because I know that if I'm teaching the class, I cannot skip out on it. And if you really cannot find the time, try multitasking during your workout, like maybe listen to a podcast when you're running. You could also incorporate fitness into your daily life, like maybe walk your dog more, take the stairs, park further away. And before you know it, these healthy habits will be your lifestyle. Excuse number two, I don't want to be around people. Yes, when you're unemployed and you're feeling all the negative feels, all you want to do is retreat under your covers and not see people. But exercise can actually help elevate your mood chemically because it's releasing those endorphins and also physically and psychologically you just feel better. You can even go for a walk, just get some fresh air, get outside, it doesn't have to be like power walking, do the bare minimum just to get your mind running and your blood flowing. Excuse number three, working out is no fun. Most people hate working out because it makes them feel uncomfortable. There's a few different reasons for that, maybe you're doing the wrong activity. So figure out an activity that's in line with your interests. It may also be that the workout that you're doing now has a negative effect on your health. So maybe there are certain workouts that you should be avoiding. So maybe talk to your doctor or trainer and figure out what you should do instead. Okay, another possibility is that you just hate working out alone. In that case, get a workout buddy or just join a group fitness class. Go for a walk or a bike ride with a friend or a spouse or a family member. This way you also get to spend some quality time with them. If all else fails, go to CrossFit where they brainwash you into thinking you love working out. <laughs> what? Who said that? Also, for you tech nerds out there, get yourself a Fitbit or some sort of app that will help motivate you. Excuse number four, working out is expensive. Yes, gym memberships are expensive guys, but there are a ton of activities that you can do on the cheap that are completely free. For example, if you live in an apartment and you have a pool, use it. Otherwise, buy a bike, which is a one-time expense. And if all else fails, get onto YouTube, baby. There are a ton of resources and exercises you could do online. So working out is good, but if you don't have healthy eating habits, it can actually undo all of that exercise. And when you're feeling low, it's comforting to reach for that bag of chips or that candy bar. No. But here are some ways to combat that. Hack number one, out of sight, out of mind. Do not bring junk food or sugary foods into the house because then it becomes way harder harder to resist. So keep it simple, opt for healthier snacks and water instead. Hack number two, plan out your meals ahead of time. You can do this in batches or on a weekly basis. And if you need more info on meal prepping, check out our previous video. So there you go guys, these are the tried and tested hacks that work for us and it may work for you as well. Of course, this is not an exhaustive list, but it's a great start to cultivate a healthy lifestyle and a better state of mind. A lot of this comes from our own experiences, so tune in on Thursday to hear some of that. You can also listen to the podcast version of this on iTunes and check out bizlatte.com for our blog and tons of other resources. And we love hearing from you guys, so make sure that you get in touch with us over social media or email give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we'll see you next tuesday with a brand new five minute hack bye, bye.